People are always asking me, John, do you believe in the blood of witch? I tell them no. But I do believe in Dr. Charles Walker. Now when you think of someone who has a PhD in zoology from Cornell University, you think, oh, you just you, you just start thinking like any other mom or guidance counselor, oh, he's just gonna go work in a zoo. But no. I mean, who would make such a, a bold accusation as to say you can only get a job in a zoo? He studies animals, not zoos. You guys ever hear of clam leukemia? You ever wondered what good will ever come from such a disease? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Dr. Charles Walker, the man I am in search of right now, is just trying to figure out the same exact thing we are. What can I do with clam leukemia and why am I studying it? So I'll just give you guys a little background story while I'm in search of such a, a cryptic man. It turns out that by studying leukemia and clams he can actually see how it can be treated in humans which I feel is a little far-fetched because I mean clams have very different features than humans and if you don't know that you shouldn't be a marine biologist what does this rock look like to you if you said sea urchin then you are correct but you have now led yourself into the next one of Dr. Charles Walker's latest experiments having to deal with land sea urchin aquaculture as you can see the ocean is a very dangerous place filled with turbulent waves and endless fishermen that are going for one reason and that is to kill every sea urchin they find because they have a thing to kill sea urchins. They just have it out for them. They hate sea urchins. They really hate sea urchins. So what Charles Walker is trying to do is perhaps grow sea urchins on the land to help remove pressure from the fishing industries and by doing so to help raise the natural population while still meeting the demands of our own inherent need for sea urchins. If you're still stumped about the whole clam leukemia thing, it turns out that leukemia in clams is similar to the one in humans. So by studying it in controlled clams, we can actually see just how to cure it and what we can do. It's pretty uh, revolutionary. I think that Charles Walker actually had a pretty good idea. I never thought to do it, so obviously you have to come with a pretty genius dude to think of such a great idea. Okay, I definitely don't remember that being there before. So, I'm kind of wondering what's going on right now. I figure that while I'm here by this weird garbage can in the, in the woods next to the ocean, I'd like to point out that if I ever do find Charles Walker out in Blair Woods, in Maryland, where I am right now, I'd like to point out that he teaches a lot of classes that you might even take next year, next semester, who knows. If you're interested in Principles of Biology, which is the 411 course mandated for such a great major, Eukaryotic Cell and Development in Biology, you can take that too. However, if you want to do research in biology or biochemistry, just give him a ring. But, if you want to get off the chemistry, or the biology, or the biochemistry, you can go for cancer research, which he also teaches. I just like to point out that from the classes he teaches, uh, you can pretty much conclude, but if you can't, I'm here to tell you, because that's, that's what I'm here. I'm here to find Charles Walker. I'm an expert on him, by the way. I am an expert, because... I have to be. It's not safe out here. It's not safe. You have to be an expert of the land. And Charles Walker. Anyway, I'd like to point out that his research interests include cell and development biology along with molecular control of spermatogenesis. That is spermatogenesis for all you people who wondered what I just said before. That is true. You wonder, what am I doing in the middle of the woods? if he teaches spermatogenesis. Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing in the woods. I'm looking for Charles Walker. He never answered my email. Hey, it's, it's day two out here. Uh, I was actually doing some research on 
Charles Walker, and I'm actually kind of, kind of worried. Um, I found a lot of a lot of news that kind of worries me. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Former, former students, former, former grad students, former undergrads, people he's worked with, former. There's like 20 people here. Whatever happened to these people? Former. What makes it? What? Dennis? Dennis Larishell? Where is he now? He could. What is? What is? What has happened to him? Michael Lim? Kara J. Lee? Heidi Holoquince? Jeremy Sokolov? Yuri Pride said he loved working with him. What happened to this man? What's happening out here? He had such great outreach. So many grad students, so many undergrads. Someone, someone got a job at a cancer research, a cancer research facility because of this man. I just, I just can't believe there's so many former students. What, what, what could he have done to them? Um, my battery's starting to run low. I don't know how much longer I can last out here. It's cold. Look, my hands, they're red. My glasses are broken. I woke up with with these weird markings on me. If, if you don't believe in the Blair Witch, you better start believing in Charles Walker because he's real and he's out here. I'm not alone out here. I woke up this morning and Jeff was gone. He just, I found a bundle of sticks and I don't even want to say what was inside of it. Jeff was, he was just missing. Taken. His voice is calling to the ocean. I hear him. I'm going in after him. Oh my god. Oh my god. The Blair Witch. Charles Walker. This is so gross. It's like eating my shoes. There could be alligators. You see him? There he is. I see him. Charles Walker. I don't answer people's emails. Charles Walker. He spotted me. We have to run. Oh my god, you can't run in waders. It's not possible. I see him.